Hello, everybody. Welcome. I'm Jay Gordon. I'm here to bring you tonight's Hockamock Davenport matchup between the Foxborough Warriors and the Sharon Eagles here at Foxborough High School. Just standing by right now for the starting lineups. Result in your removal from this competition. Do your part to make all athletic contests a positive and enjoyable experience. Good sportsmanship is the number one priority of all our schools. And now for today's starting lineup for Sharon High School, number starting lineup four, for the Sharon Jackson Eagles. Rava. We've got number four, number Jackson Rava. Number three, Sam Latender. Number 23, Sam Number Latender. Number 33, Captain Jaden Siegel. Number 33, James Number Siegel. Number 24, Captain Ryan Brown. Number 24, Captain and Ryan Brown. And number three, Captain Jacob McLaughlin. And number three, Sharon High School Jake is McLaughlin. coached by Andrew Ferguson. And now for your for the Foxborough, Foxborough Warriors. Warriors. Number one, Ryan Number one, Kelly. Ryan Kelly. Number two, Eric Walford. Number two, Eric Walford. Number three, Nolan Gordon. Number three, Nolan Gordon. Number 22, Caden Hassett. Number 22, Caden Hassett. And number 11, Captain Ryan And number 11, Carter. senior captain. Ryan Carter. Foxborough High School is coached by John Gibbs. We ask if you are able, could you please stand and remove your hats for the playing of the national anthem? So Foxborough comes into this game 11 and one in the I'm sorry one and 11 in the Davenport four and 12 overall. Sharon High School comes into uh, tonight's game seven and five in the Davenport eight and six overall. Uh, this will be the last time in the near future at least that we play Sharon twice in a season as they're uh, preparing to move up into the Kelly Rex next season. Sharon won the first of uh, two this year uh, against us at, in their uh, home gym. Just waiting for the Sharon boys to come out for the opening tip. So just one thing to note is uh, Katz Nelson, the, their leading scorer, is not starting in this game. He appears to be healthy and ready to go, but he's not starting. Tip. Okay. Mm. I'd hate to complain about the first call of the game, so I'm just going to keep my mouth shut. Sharon ball. Gordon on McLaughlin. McLaughlin had a big, big shoot night the first contest earlier in the season. Power move by 33 to get to his spot and finish on the left side of the hoop. Walford with the ball. It's 
skip pass to Carter. Carter looks to drive. Skip pass to Kelly, corner three, off the rim. Sharon with the rebound. Up quickly, McLaughlin. Thirty-three, basically the same shot as the last possession, missed but got his own rebound and then fouled. Looks like fouled by Hassett. Makes the first. the second. Sharon out to an early 4-0 lead. Carter bringing the ball up for Foxborough. Sharon in a man defense. Foxborough with the turnover. Sharon quickly in transition. Missed the layup and Foxborough starts back up on offense. Carter for three. Got it. Nice shot. Deep three by number 24. Back rims it, Sharon gets the long rebound. Sharon really making an effort to get to the paint early, even with their big man on the bench. Good defense, and we've got an unforced turnover there, backcourt. Well done. Foxborough side out. Four to three, Sharon. Carter bringing the ball over the half court line. Carter with the drive. Denied, Sharon with the rebound. Laughlin with the drive. Oh, nice pass. So, a couple early fouls for Foxborough um, when we're not boxing out. So that's a little troublesome. Hate to see fouls like that where if we just, you know, did a little bit of work before that, before that ball came down, we might be able to just secure the rebound instead of being out of position and fouling. Another look at Carter's shot, left him open, and he made it hurt. Nice shot. Free throw made, and we're uh, five to three. Sharon Lee. Gordon with the shot, little long. Sharon with the rebound. Couple, couple missed opportunities for Sharon and uh, Foxborough ball. The Sharon Eagles a little bit more active on the uh, on the glass than we have so far. We're gonna need to pick up that intensity. Gordon with the drive, getting harassed. A lot of contact. See if he's shooting or if it's gonna be side out. Nope. Same before before the shot. Ball for the top of the key. Called for the travel. So just the, you know, the open in possessions, the looks aren't necessarily bad for Foxborough. Just I think I'd like to see them maybe move the ball uh, instead of dribbling. A lot, a lot easier to 
find open guys when you're just mo moving the ball reversing direction as opposed to just dribbling waiting for guys to become open out for the open three Rava a little long another offensive rebound for Sharon say other than the first basket every everything else has been free throws from from us not boxing out or uh, second chance points corner corner three for Walford in and out Floor, nice, nice little finger roll there in the paint. Skip past to Kelly. Corner three. Got it. Need more of that. Nine six, Sharon. Three twenty left in the first quarter. Again, initial defense outstanding by Foxborough, but another second chance opportunity. Luckily, we were able to uh, gather the rebound. Walford with the drive, a lot of hands on him right there. No call. Uh, we got a we got a call late. I feel like that call could have been made on the first hit, but we'll take it. Couple subs coming. We got Ian Foley and another look at the three. Really good cross court pass. On his shooting hand, Kelly ready to fire, and down it goes. So we got Henry Griffin in and uh, Ian Foley. Mm. Good contest. Looks like Carter might have got a little bit of the body there on the on the shot. First on Ryan. Uh, 23 hits the first of two. Rebound gathered by Foley on the missed free throw. Out to Carter, they're up quick. Oh, and a turnover on the pass. Sharon back with the ball. Bas basket good by McLaughlin and the foul. So uh, we got a chance for a three point play here. Two quick ones on Carter. Katz Nelson in the game. And McLaughlin makes the three point play 13 to six. Foxborough ball. 238 left in the first. Crossover, nice look. Shut down on the baseline. Caught a nice, nice drive again. And, and we've got two shots. A little bit of confusion there. Heard a lot of opinions from the bench over there, but only one opinion matters, the refs, and we're shooting two. Oh! Carter buries the first. And hits the second. 13 to eight, Sharon. 226 left. Look at Carter taking a, taking a rest here and uh, Campbell coming into the game. Look at Campbell, Foley, Walford, Griffin, Gordon. Like to see Foxborough close out this quarter strong. Really strong move by Katz Nelson. I'm not sure how that didn't go in, but we'll take the miss and the rebound for sure. Campbell with the ball, top of the key, and travels. Look 
McLaughlin bringing the ball over half court. Gordon covering him. Katz Nelson in the wing. Looking to drive. Corner three, and it's good. 24. 16 to eight, Sharon. Walford bring the ball up on the wing. Looks to drive, shut down. Foley at the top. Back to Walford. Got to skip to Campbell if he wants it. Nope. Gordon at the top. Looking at nice pass to Griffin. Blocked by Katz Nelson. Griffin with the second attempt. No good. Sharon ball. Nice job by Foley stepping in, ready to take the charge. Caused that turnover. Got a kick ball. Staying with Foxborough. Kelly in for Henry Griffin. 16 to eight, Sharon, 56 seconds left in the first quarter. Campbell with the drive, no good. McLaughlin with the rebound. Cats Nelson for three, and he buries it. So again, a uh, couple uncontested threes that just can't happen, can't happen. And one in the corner by number 24, and then Cats Nelson there in the wing. Yeah, so just, you know, not, not knowing who has who, and uh, just very minimal, uh, and even that's a stretch, resistance there. Uh, we gotta do better, gotta do better. Too good of a team to, to let them take open shots like that. Yeah, so quickly it turned into uh, 19 to eight with 41.5 seconds left. So it needs something here. for a ball. Walford bringing it up. Looks like we got a set play here. Kelly to Walford. Walford with the drive and it's good. Nice take. 20 seconds left. I'm sure Sharon will try to play, the, play for the last shot here in the quarter. That's Nelson coming up for the pick. Slips for the three, no good. And a push off on the rebound by number one, Perron. Forgive me if I'm butchering that name. Campbell over half court, three seconds to go. Gordon for three. No good. All right, so. All right, we, See Walford's layup here. Good drive, saw a little bit of a seam. Found, found the opening and good finish. The Foxborough cheerleaders here. Nicely done. All right, so we're gonna package up that first quarter and put a bow on it. Uh, what I would say about that is, from an offensive standpoint, I, I don't think it was it was terrible. I think the looks we're getting were fine. Um, not many forced shots. Defensively is probably where we need to clean it up. 
Um, two or three uncontested threes against a good shooting team just isn't going to cut it. And uh, the second chance points got to do a better job boxing out and cleaning up the boards. So things that are very easily correctable. Just dug a little bit of a hole that we got to get ourselves out of now. Foxborough ball. Carter over to Kelly. Gordon in the corner. Up to Foley. Nothing there. After a few cutters clearing through. Tight defense by Sharon. He had to open up the quarter. And got a little handsy. Got a little handsy. A really good job for Sharon for most of that shot clock to deny passes and really take everything away. But a little, little overzealous at the end there. Side out Foxborough on the baseline. Cut to Gordon. Up for two. Contested. Good finish. Corner three. Again, so we did a better job contesting there. That was just better offense. Cam Campbell down low, looking to find his spot. Nice little turnaround. Can't fall though. Good look. So that was that was probably the first rushed shot that I've seen Sharon take so far in this game. So maybe we'll see a little more of that. Another wide open three. Oh. Fox Road with the rebound. Corner on the wing to Foley up top. Campbell on the opposite wing. Gordon cutting. Oh, a little behind him. And two the other way. Timeout, Foxborough. Six oh two left of the second quarter, and twenty-four to twelve, Sharon. Uh, so here's our inbound play. We've seen this quite a few times. Just beat the guy to the spot and. Jump a little higher than the guy defending you. Easy game when that happens, right? So again, same thing. Same things in the second quarter. Uh, been the Achilles heel, you know, the the cont uncontested threes, and uh, you know that last basket we had a turnover and a quick transition hoop back for them the other way. And when you're playing a good team like Sharon, you, you got to minimize the turnovers, and you, you really got to play as close to a clean game as possible. Uh, coming out of the timeout, looks like we've got uh, Jake Griffith checking in, Cam Dulesky, Nolan Gordon, Ryan Carter, Ryan Kelly. Corner three for Gordon, short. Griffith with the rebound. Carter with the drive, shut down, nice pass. And the finish by Jake Griffith. Good look there. Katz Nelson back in the game, gets to the spot, short. Caught and gets a nice pick from Kelly for three. Got it. Sorry, that was a nice pick from Jake Griffith to an open three by Kelly. 24-17, chipping away. Thirty-three calling for the ball in the paint.
So just really good ball movement by Sharon there. Twice they made the extra pass, ended up with a, a layup opportunity. Uh, 33 did not make, but once again gets his own rebound and finds himself at the free throw line. This is the first. Yeah, so just really, really good penetration there. Started with the good pick. And that just starts opening things up for the shooters. Second free throw falls. 25-17, Foxborough ball. So I'd like to see Foxborough continue to be aggressive here. <laughs> Carter on the wing, looking to drive. Got Jake again. Couldn't quite get a handle on it, but the right idea, the right idea. Penetration, backdoor cut. Had a good opportunity there, just couldn't gather the ball. A really nice finish with the left hand by McLaughlin. So it's when he's at his best, when he's driving. <laughs> Kelly for three. And one. Count to three and one. So that's a set play that Foxborough runs from time to time to free up Kelly at the top of the key. I believe they go through a double screen to get that to get that look, and it worked perfectly there. And he hits it. Another tough basket by McLaughlin. Walford looks to shoot. Skip pass by Carter. Off Foxborough. And we got Caden Hassett coming in for Jake Griffith. Good minutes for Jake there. That's Nelson driving with the left. Dishes to 15 for uh, uncontested mid-range for two. Auto with the drive, shut down, Kelly to Walford. Pass it in the corner. Carter, seven seconds left to shoot. Another look, nice pass, good finish by Kelly. Good patience by Foxborough there. 31-23, Sharon. 2.24 to go in the half. Skip pass. That's Nelson. Robber in the corner. Somehow we gathered that rebound after a really good defensive stand. Walford got bumped. No call, but we'll take the two. 31-25, minute 44 to go. Good hustle. Good defense by Carter and Hassett. Nice hustle to get the free, free ball. Walford looking, passing on the wing. 
Wildcats. Nelson, that's a good foul. It's a good foul. Really good defensive play by Katz Nelson to help and strip that ball away. Katz Nelson at the line for two. It's the first. Waffle with the drive. A lot of contact, no call. Got the friendly bounce and the bucket. Buries the second. Minute 19 to go in the first half. Sharon up 33-25. Ian Foley, Cam Daleski back in the game. Walford shut down, lost his dribble. Ian Foley takes over. Daleski, top of the key. Foley with the drive. And earned some free throws there. Good aggressive move by Ian. Barry's the first. <laughs> Barry's the second. 33-27, 50 seconds left in the first half. Range by McLaughlin, long, nice rebound by Daleski. Can't quite play for the last shot, but it's pretty close. I just want to see a good show. Walford with a quick one there for three, no good. Ian Foley with the rebound, up strong, no good. Sharon can now play for the last shot. 16 seconds to go. Two seconds, Walford with the ball. Got a chance, no good. All right. So pretty good close out there by the, uh, by the Foxborough Warriors to close out that second quarter. Uh, what was a nine point deficit was trimmed down to a six point deficit. Um, again, on offense, the looks are good. They're sharing the ball for the, for the most part. Uh, Kelly leading the way with 12 points. Uh, Walford at four, Gordon two, Carter with five, Jake Griffith with two, Ian Foley with two. So spread out a little bit. Uh, I'd like to see a, a, a lot more of that. And uh, just continue this trend into the second, second half. We'll be back shortly, 33-27, Sharon. Stay tuned for the second half. Welcome back to the second half, everyone. We've got a good one tonight. 33-27 right now, Sharon with the lead. Nice finish to the second quarter by Foxborough to trim that lead down. And uh, let's see what the boys from, from Foxborough have for us in the second half. Like to see him just tighten up a little bit on defense. You know, cut down on the open looks. You know, it's, it's, it's gonna happen in rotation sometimes when, uh, you know, when they're moving the ball and, you, and you're helping on, on play side. Sometimes there's gonna be, a, you know, breakdowns here and there, but you gotta just try to minimize that. Keep it, keep it uh, as clean as possible. And also, you know, do a better job boxing out. There are too many second chance opportunities for Sharon in that first half. 
offensively, I, I, I think we look good. We're moving the ball. Um, we, we've been patient. Maybe one or two quick shots that, you know, didn't need to be taken. But other than that, uh, I feel like the plan offensively has been, has been pretty solid. All right, so starting in the second half is the uh, same five that started in the game. we got Hassett, Carter, Kelly, Walford, Gordon. Sharon Ball to start the third quarter. Katz Nelson with the drive on Hassett. Hassett called for the bump. Katz Nelson, good job getting to his spot and then just using his power game once he got the ball. Hits the first to two. And hits the second. So a quick two points for Sharon out of the gate. Foxborough ball, 35-27. Caught it with the drive, skip pass to Walford for three. Short, Katz Nelson with the rebound. McLaughlin looks to drive, canceled by Gordon. Good defense by Foxborough there on the pass. Caught it with the drive, gets his pocket pick from behind. And McLaughlin for the layup. Walford with the ball up top, over to Carter. Gordon top, looks to drive, shut down to Hassett. Nice pass back to Gordon, yep, fake. Only been asking for that up fake for uh, 16 games. Glad to finally see it. So Gordon at the line for two. It's the first. You know, so back to that turnover uh, by Carter there. Like that, you know, he doesn't have eyes on the back of his head. This play is on the court. This play is on the bench. This coach, somebody's got to yell to him what's coming behind him. Misses the second. Just the little things, little things. McLaughlin bringing the ball over, covered by Gordon. Cuts to the hoop, double teamed. Pass to 33, easy two. Thirty-nine twenty-eight, Sharon. Carter looks to drive, over to Walford. Back to Carter. Good pass, and the finish by Gordon. Not sure what the whistle is here. Checking on a player, we're good to go though. It's really good look by, by Carter there, making that extra pass. Baseline's there when we drive. Cats Nelson with the mid-range bunny. 39, uh, sorry, 41 to 30, Sharon. Cross court to Carter for the open three. Boom! Well done. Laughlin slashing into the double team. Denied first time, gets his own rebound and puts it home. Second chance points. So they're rushing every, every first pass to that wing, but there should be opportunities if we play it. Corner three, again. Carter makes it hurt. So if they're gonna gamble and 
and put a rush and a, and a trap on that first pass. And we're smart, we're gonna get those open looks on the backside, which we've got two consecutive possessions. It's resulted in six points. On the defensive side, still too many second chances. We stopped, we stopped McLaughlin on a, on a layup, double team. There's two people in front of him. Somebody's gotta get a body and somebody's gotta get, gotta get the ball. There's a look, Carter with the nice drive, eyes up, good baseline cut. Coming in the back door and finishes. And we go cross court to Carter. Pretty shot. And that was not a same play. That was two different shots. Same result. So again, just, you know, when we're on offense, be strong with the ball, have your eyes up, and the, you can see the opportunities that are there. So Foxborough doing a good job when, you know, it could potentially start to get out of hand. Would you, working hard to make sure that that doesn't happen. McLaughlin bringing the ball up, covered by Gordon. Pass it, denying Katz Nelson. McLaughlin deep three, chases his own rebound. Oh, I mean that's, so here's your first of the night folks, I'm gonna complain. Hassett got absolutely hammered, no call, taken to the ground, they get the ball back and then they get, they get a ticky tack and one. Pivotal, pivotal play, pivotal call, I'll say, in a, in a close game. <laughs> Ham it in the face. No call. We move on. So baseline inbound play, Walford's gonna start. Pass it at the top of the key. Kelly in the wing. Got his jersey grab, fall away, in and out. Sharon on offense. Nice crossover by McLaughlin. And he finishes. Walford looking for an opening, finds a seam, and makes the layup. Nice take by Walford there. Nelson looking to power his way down again. Skip pass to the corner. Back out to 24. Got it by Carter. Pushes off. McLaughlin way outside. So again, 34 seconds of great defense. We don't secure the rebound and they get an, uh, they get an uncontested three on, on the rebound. Can't have it. Trapped again. One more. And we got the foul. So they're, gonna, they're doing a good job getting out of that trap. But you know, again, second chance points. Second chance points. Can't give them up. Foxborough ball. Carter working over the end, top of the key.
Got double teamed, turnover, Sharon Ball. Oh, good save by Gordon. Somehow it ends up to Sharon. Good rebound by Kelly. One of, one of, the, one of the first putbacks that hasn't gone down for Sharon. <laughs> Kelly, not sure that was for Kelly, but he ended up with it and he made the most of it. Earned two shots at the free throw line. So we're two minutes, 14 seconds left in the third quarter. Sharon 51, Foxborough 38. So again, that lead starting to stretch a little bit. G gonna need an answer by Foxborough. Kelly makes the first. Walford getting a blow here. Looks like Jake Griffith coming back in. Kelly makes the second. Need stops, boys, need stops. No call on the, what looked to be a charge. Corner three, no good. 33 all over Jake's back, gets the rebound. We play on. And we got the movement screen. for a ball, Carter's gonna bring it up. Coach Gibbs calling a play. And don't think that's what we were looking for. It looked like what was they were trying to do a handoff play there, but uh, got harassed and ended up out of bounds off us. Sharon Ball. Katz Nelson. Getting to the paint, fall away. Nice job by Jake to get the rebound after giving 33 a piggyback ride. And not sure what happened there, but off Foxborough. So down 11, we can't have too many more of these empty possessions on offense. Well, with the drive. Uh, Foxborough Sharon Ball. Foxborough digging in a little bit more on the on the board. So, oh, but we caught sleeping there. Fifty-three <sighs> forty, Sharon. Seventeen seconds to go in the quarter. Right. Right, let's get moving. Kelly for three, no good. Sharon Ball for three. All right, so not, not the quarter that we were looking for coming out of the half. Lead uh, expanded a little bit for Sharon. We are now at 53 to 40. Get a... Another look at the, the Foxborough cheerleaders. Nicely done. 
So I, just more, more of the same hurting, hurting Foxborough. Uh, second chance points for sure is, is probably the, the thing that they need to correct the most right now. And, uh, you know, especially when those second chance points are getting kicked out to be three pointers, that's, that's really tough. All right, so start the fourth quarter. We've got Kelly, Walford, Gordon, Griffith, Ian Foley. And Sharon's gonna look to work hard and put us away here, and it's our, our job to make sure that doesn't happen. Chip away at this lead. Griffin down low, and looks like he was blocked by Katz Nelson. Katz Nelson for three, no good. Walford with the rebound. Gordon top of the key, looks to drive, gets a seam, short. Off Sharon. Gordon looked like he wanted a, a foul call there. I didn't quite see it, didn't have a good view. Wall for the inbound. Kelly for three. Short. Jake keeps the ball alive to Ian Foley with the nice cut. Just can't get it to fall. And two the other way in transition. 55-40. And foul on the floor. Fox for a ball, wall for an inbound. So Campbell back in the game. to drive, left in, no good. And nice hustle play by Ryan Kelly. Keeps the ball alive, gets it to deflect off Sharon player's leg. Remains Foxborough ball. Campbell down low to Ian. Good look, doesn't fall. McLaughlin, quick look. Three point attempt, nope. Pulls it back. Oh, nice pass. Fifty-seven forty. Foxborough still looking for their first points of the quarter. Looking to drive. Shut down. Nice pass by. Uh, we got to travel before the basket. Four, corner three, and he buries it. So, I'll say that one was semi-contested, but he still had a clean look at the hoop. Campbell with the travel. That looked more like a jump ball to me, but 
Oh, whatever. Looks like we're extending our pressure a little bit. Sounded like Coach Gibbs wanted a foul there on that play. Tipped twice by two Foxborough players. So this, this is the call that we didn't get when we were down six. But when we're down 20, it's an easy call. Foxborough ball. Campbell looking to drive. Fights through the double team, no good. Transition hoop for, for Sharon. Got to move the ball. One versus three isn't going to do it. Carter with the ball. To Gordon on the wing, looks to drive. They wall up. Try to get it to Walford off his leg. Sharon ball. Sharon is having some fun now. Try to tough pass there. 62 40, 422 left in the game. Walford looks to drive. Foul before the shot. Walford uh, well, inbound to Carter. Gordon on the wing. Kelly up top. Caden in the corner. Looks to shoot. Short. Chases on rebound, but gathered by Sharon. Two in the paint, denied. Gets his own rebound and fouled. So 64-40, Sharon. Gets Nelson with the free throw attempt to make it a three point play. It's good. It's like Sharon empty in the bench here with 3.40 to go. Carter looks to drive, foul and one. Good take by Kotz. Hits the free throw to make it a three point play. Blocked by Hassett, Gordon with the rebound. Out to Carter. Looks to drive. Henry with the putback, no good. Hassett with another steal. Up strong, and one. Nicely done. Really good sequence there by Caden Hass at a block on the on the defensive end and then a, a steal after a miss. Put back and 
buries the free throw. 65-46, Sharon. Shot by Sharon, caught it with the rebound to Walford. Hits the layup in transition. Two nineteen to go, sixty-five forty-eight. Sharon steal by Gordon, and hits the layup. All right, so Foxborough chipping away at the lead a little bit against the Sharon Reserves. But nice to see uh, there's still some fight left in the dog. Yeah, this is a steal. Gordon tell sees that and finishes. So again, Coach Gibbs is elected to keep the starters out there. So what you want to see is exactly what you're seeing. You want, you want to see them finish on a positive note, and hopefully that carries over into the next game. So we're 65 to 50, Sharon's comfortably ahead. 2.06 left to go in the game. Sharon inbounds. Foxborough extending their pressure. Full court man. Sharon completely content with working that clock. Has it with the attempted steal. Ends up getting it. Caught it with the ball. Good pass to Deleski. Shut down. Caden had the three, didn't take it. Takes it this time. No good. Henry with a great rebound. Gordon for the corner three. Short. Sharon out on the fast break, two on one. Teleski with the foul, basket good. So minute 19 left, looks like, looks like Foxborough is going to empty the bench. Free throw is good. 68 to 50. 119 to go. Deleski in. Jaden Floristall in. Campbell in. Jake Griffith in. And we have Stephen Hurley in. Campbell looks to drive, walled up by three guys, manages to get his own rebound. Drives again, pass to Floristall. Out to Deleski for three, no good. Chases his own rebound. Camp Campbell for three, no good. Sharon with the rebound. Two the other way for Sharon. Teleski saves it early. Campbell. Teleski out to Campbell. Double team turns it over. Eight seconds to go. That should do it, folks.
All right, so that's the game, everyone. Hard fought game by both teams. Um, love the effort by Foxborough tonight, especially for the first three quarters, but uh, you know, those, those breakdowns once again, you know, the, this one at the worst time in the fourth quarter and uh, one we couldn't recover from. So uh, in the end, uh, final score, Sharon 70, Foxborough 50. Uh, next game is away for Foxborough Warriors. I believe they're in Stoughton, so we won't be back home again until next week. But uh, until then, keep on fighting the good fight and uh, keep pulling for these boys. Better days ahead. Thanks to Foxborough Cable Access for the, all the work they do. Great job as always. It's a work to see everybody hard at work there. Um, thanks to our camera crew tonight. And uh, we'll see you next time. I'm Jay Gordon saying good night.